dice. Um, how are you guys today? I hope you guys are fine and you are enjoying my videos and you are not sharing the videos. I just can't believe that you guys watch the video and you don't share them. I had some interesting content. But, you know, the mistake was that I used, uh, what do you call it, a single lens mode on my phone. Oh, sorry, on my um, camera. So that content went waste. It's, it's about 20 minutes of content. And um, it's no good. It's no good at all. I'm in a restaurant right now. And I'm eating here. It is, it is a Chinese restaurant, okay? It is a Chinese restaurant, and it's very, very good. It's very, very good. The good thing about this kind of restaurant is that they have options. The option they have is this whole thing that I'm eating is 25 reals, okay? It is 25 reals. And you might be asking me, why am I going to pay 25 reals to eat something like this? Because it comes with a lot of options. Guys, some of the options, let me show you. Maybe you want to see it, you see? And it's 25 reals, and then the water, the water is 3 reals, okay? The water is 3 reals. So in total, it's like 28 or 20, 28.90. And the reason why I'm paying this amount is that I can eat and when I'm done, I can go back again and then eat again. In Portuguese, we say it is avantage. Okay? And this particular restaurant is a, it's a Chinese restaurant. It is a Chinese restaurant. So when you come to Brazil, it is very common to come across to come across this type of restaurant. Okay. Uh, why am I saying it's very common? Most of the restaurant they will tell you to pay one amount, uh, one particular amount of money, then eat as much as you, you can, or eat as much as you want. And then you pay one particular amount. So in this situation here, yeah, I'm paying 25 reals and I'm, I can eat and finish up this and then go and then eat again. But in my case, you know, I don't eat that much. So I picked this one and then added water to it. So when you come to Brazil, it is very common to see this kind of uh, things, okay? And I just wanted to take you guys through this. You are watching it, you are not giving the video some time up, you are not sharing the video, and this is so bad. This is so bad that you are not sharing the video. It is free to subscribe. It is free to subscribe. So you, you watch, you subscribe, and then you give, it, you give the video some time up so that I can bring you more content. So I'm here to eat because I'm very, very hungry. 
And when I finish, um, I'll take you guys around in this particular place. I am actually in Taguachinga right now. Guys, I'm done. And now I have to go. I'm going to pay, okay? So I have to take the receipt. But before I go, I'm going to make sure I talk to the guy and ask him a bit. Então, eu queria que você me explicasse alguma coisa. Como se é à vontade? À vontade é o seguinte, Isso. você pode comer, hum. terminou, quiser ir fluir de novo, querer outro. Mas agora está cheio. Pode repetir. Ah, tá. Então esse aqui é à vontade. É, é Porque o povo está assistindo de fora do país. Eles hum. querem saber. Uhum. Então aqui no Brasil, a maioria das vezes, os restaurantes têm esse tipo tem de... Tem à vontade. Tem uma vontade, é uma vontade né? É, aliás, quase todos os restaurantes aqui... Os chinês tudinho tem isso aí. Tem isso aí. E no brasileiro também. Todos também, é, porque eu já comi a maioria dos restaurantes brasileiros é, mesmo. Sim. É à vontade é também. É à vontade. Eu vontade. acho muito bacana. Isso, você come. Fala para eles comer aqui. É. Fala para eles. Você pode vir comer aqui. aqui e é fala para eles no inglês. Forget. Forget. Isso. <risos> Esse mesmo, você, eles têm que vir comer aqui. E a, ele é de Gana também? Não, não. Ele é daqui? É daqui. <risos> você é daqui? Guys, I'm asking Mrs. if it's from Ghana. Ok, então, se você é daqui, fala para eles que aqui, é, no Brasil, tem muitos restaurantes que é à vontade. Fala para eles. Aqui no Brasil tem muitos restaurantes que é à vontade. Mas você fala inglês? Não. Não? Por quê? Não, tem que falar inglês. Pô, você, você tem que falar. Você não vai viajar fora? Quando? Em breve. Ah, eu já viajei bastante o mundo. Agora eu estou aqui no Brasil. Chama um país. Ah, foi para México. Só dois países que eu nunca fui. Estados Unidos e Canadá. O resto já foi. Tudinho. Você vai estar Unidos e Canadá? Ainda agora, porque eu vou. É, fazer compras ainda. Se Deus quiser, ano que vem. Isso. Obrigado. Tchau, tchau. Yeah. My, no my name is Juvenal. Say Juvenal. Are you from Nigeria? No, I'm from Ghana. Ghana, yes. Yes. You have some friends? 2019. No, not 2019. 20, 2019. No. You made the video. Metro. Oh, really? You watch my video? Yes. Guys, you see? <laughs> no canal, né? É porque eu comecei essa canal, eu acho que é pouco tempo. Foi em 2019 mesmo. Yeah. Yes. Are you following my channel? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, so I have a new channel too in Portuguese. Uh, it's called A Família Suprema. What is the name of your English channel? It's called from Africa to South America. Yes. yes. <laughs> Do you remember? Let me show you. I'm a subscriber. <laughs> you are a subscriber? All right. So this is this is the channel. This is the channel. Yeah, yeah. From Africa to South America. This one is Portuguese. This one is uh, a, a Familia Suprema. It's strictly in Portuguese. Ah, so you follow my channel? Yeah. Oh, this is good. Have you made a video in South Africa? Almost yes. all the time, yes, yes. yes. You made a live in Tagalog Yes, Park. I made a live video in Tagalog Park. Yes. You watch it? Yeah. What is your name? Leon. All right, so you follow my Instagram too. Do you follow my Instagram? No, why you know, It's inside Brasilia. Let me, let me show you here. This is my Instagram. Um, oh. This is my Instagram. It's called Inside Brasilia. So you watch most of my short, short videos on Instagram. And uh, yeah, you share my channel too. Então, eu tenho canal português também. Além de inglês. Então, ele vai te, ele vai compartilhar com você. 
para você também seguir. Jack Qual é o seu nome? André. André, André. Só de grana. Isso, só de grana. Minha esposa, irmão dela, o nome dele é André. Mas você já mora aqui em Brasília há muitos anos? Não, eu cheguei aqui em 2012. Do seu país, a... Isso, é pra conhecer, porque olha, eles acham que aqui tudo é favela. Sério. Então, é como vocês falam, estereotipo. É, estereótipo. Estereótipo, isso. Então, eu quero que eles ele entendam que não é assim. Aqui, completamente diferente, porque eu já viajei bastante, o mundo, quase toda. Então, o Brasil é diferente. É um país, primeiro mundo, pra eles. Conhecer, sabe? A gente não é o melhor país do mundo, mas... Pra mim. Já... Não, pra mim é melhor, porque eu já fui pra quase muitos países que nem dá pra lembrar, mas já fui pra Europa tudo. O Brasil é melhor. Se você viajar, você vai perceber. E você vai correr e voltar pra cá. <risos> tá bom, boa tarde. Isso. Mr. André, tchau, tchau. All right, so guys, yeah, we had a very nice chat. And now you have... The idea that when you come to Brazil, it's very common to eat in restaurant right like this. We, we say it's avantage, which is you can eat and then you eat again, you can eat again until you are full. All right, so yeah, this is it. I will pay for a credit for me, ta? Approximation, ta? No, já chegou aqui já. Obrigado, viu? Isso. All right, so, um, yeah, so this is the restaurant I like to eat here. I like to eat here. It's unfortunate that the recordings that I did in the beginning, you guys didn't get it. Because I actually used a single, uh, what do you call it, single camera mode. That, that low man inside said he has been following my channel each and every single time. He watches my channel and all that. It's interesting, right? People watch you and then finally they get to meet you and stuff like that. Yeah, so here is one of the busiest streets in uh, Brasilia. Let me just say, to be precise. I can show you guys. Let me show you guys so that you guys can see it properly. This is how it looks. This is how it looks. You see how it looks? And... <sighs> I used to live in this particular neighborhood, to be frank with you guys. I used to live in this particular neighborhood. And the reason why, the reason why I like this neighborhood is, um, it's like practically, practically is close to every other city in Brasilia. You understand? It's close to any other city in Brasilia. Hey, yes, I, I left my car right over there because here it's very difficult to park. Let me show you once again. You see? It is very, very difficult to park. You see, there are cars everywhere. So it would have been uh, impossible for me to simply park somewhere here. But anyway, I left my car behind this particular building. There is a street over, over there. So, which is the next block, right? And, guys, look at this place. This kind of place, you can get it any part of Brazil. Yes, I live in Brasilia, though. But you can get this kind of spot any part of Brazil. And what they normally use this kind of place to do is, it is for people to come and sit down and then rest. You know, like, rest have some good time and then yeah if possible lay down a little bit so yeah let me just say there are trees everywhere everywhere in brasilia when you come it's common to see trees okay and i hope you guys one day when you come you get to see these kind of things too this is a new laboratory because i remember when i was living here they didn't have laboratories here Yeah, you see, so any neighborhood you go or any neighborhood you visit in Brazil or Brasilia, 
you see this kind of uh, places where you can sit and then, you know, like relax. You can see there are, there are people sitting down. People sit here to relax and stuff like that. And uh, like I said, the other side, there is no parking spot. So people come here and then park their cars here. So yeah, I'm done with eating and I'm going to take my car and then head towards, uh, what do you call it? Uh, another spot. I'm sure today I will get home around 4, 4, 4 p.m. Because I left home in the early, uh, in the, in the morning, early in the morning. And, uh, I went to the laboratory to, 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 to get some, uh, test done. I did a test and, uh, I have to wait for the results anyway. I still have to wait for the results. So I'm going to take my car and then head towards a different place. <laughs> Yeah, guys, I am in Taguatinga still. I'm in Taguatinga and uh, I want to simply I want to simply show you guys something. Yes, I want to show you guys something. Let me walk towards what I, I really want to show you guys. And, uh, you know, interesting thing about this particular place is in the mornings, this particular street here, in the mornings, in the mornings, it's very busy. Okay? In the morning, it's very busy here. And uh, in the evening, <laughs> it gets super busy on the other side. This place is a train station. It's a new train station, to be precise. It's a new train station. I, I'm, I was supposed to park in there. But I, I think there is no parking space. So that is why, that is why I park over there. But I can, I can get a ticket, guys. Is the reason why I'm looking. Um, but guys, let's cross our fingers, and I hope I don't get a ticket. But it looks like I can get a ticket. But I'm praying that I don't get a ticket because I have parked at a very wrong spot but anyway i hope i hope i don't get a ticket but anyway um you see this particular building that you are seeing this particular building in front of us or in front of me it is simply <laughs> Guys, it's interesting. It's interesting. I worked here when I first when I first got to Brazil. This was my my first job. I worked here in this particular spot. In this particular spot, guys. Guys, I hope I don't get a ticket because I parked somewhere which I'm not supposed to park. Because that side is, a, is actually a bus stop, a stop for a bus. So guys, I simply worked here when I first, when I first came to Brazil. Or when I first got here, I worked here. At that time, these particular buildings were in there. And you might be asking, 
you might be asking, what did I do there? I was, <laughs> I was a laborer. I was actually a laborer. I was working for a construction company. I was simply working for a construction company. Guys, it's not easy to cross here. But I have to, anyway. Because I want to show you guys something. Yes, I was working here. And uh, the time I started working here, it was flat. It was, it was like this. So we started from the scratch and then we built everything that you see over there. I was working here for, I think, a period of uh, six months or something. Maybe six months, I think. I was working here and it was actually my first job. It was actually my first job. So whenever I come here, it simply reminds me of that job. So the, today I decided to simply bring you guys here so that you guys can see it. I'm going close to it because uh, I remember very well that they had uh, Walmart. They had Walmart just close to just close to that place. Yes, they had Walmart just close to that place. I mean, but you know, each and every single time something changes. So. <laughs> it reminds me so much. This place was dusty. There was no even this particular uh, uh, street for bicycles or cycling and all that. And look at it today. It reminds me a lot of when I first got here. Because we started from the scratch, and today look at how it is. Yeah, so I was simply working as, a, what do you call it? A construction laborer here. So let me see. I just want you guys to see how it looks now. So guys, this is how it actually looks right now. It looks like this. We worked here 24 hours, guys. And it brings back those memories. So sometimes you just have to believe in yourself, you know, like you have to believe in yourself when it comes to living the life. So you can imagine we constructed this particular building from the scratch, guys. Because the time I got, I came here, the time I came, I came to this particular construction site to work, it was flat. It had nothing, in fact, nothing. And I remember sitting, I remember sitting on top of uh, that spot over there, the place where it's written shopping. I remember sitting there with a friend, uh, eating. We were eating and you know, like talking on top of it. But look at look at it today. It looks all organized, guys. It looks all organized. And yeah, so this 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 particular place is actually part of my my story. You know, like coming to Brazil, you know, to to to, to start everything up first. So. What, what I want you to know is uh, you can do it. You can do it. You don't have to make you don't have to make uh, uh, you know like you don't have to be discouraged because if you don't start it you will never know 
you never know the outcome. You understand? Uh, I was once a construction laborer at this particular building behind me. But today, look at me today. I'm a different person. And I even come here to eat. I come here to shop. I come here to do a lot of things. It's interesting. It's interesting. And you know, another interesting thing is that I don't normally use car, okay? I come here, I work. So you can imagine, I walk all the way from here to a, a, a different city called uh, Selangia. One day I'll take you guys there so that you guys can see. Just a second, guys. I have a call. Oi. What stands? She wants a camera. Oh, just this. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay. When? Okay, no problem. So tomorrow. Yes. All right, so, yeah. Yes, I can I can borrow her. It's not a problem. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right, so guys, it was actually my wife who called, okay? It was actually my wife who called. So, um yeah, I was telling you guys, I used to walk from this side, this particular spot, all the way to a place called, uh, what do you call it? A place called Selangia. I, like, I, I used to walk all the way from here because I don't want to uh, spend my, uh, what do you call it? My transportation. So I used to walk all the way from here to Selangia, a different city close to Taguachinga. And I used to do this every day, like, let me just say almost, Every day I used to do this. Guys, let me run. Yes. So I used to do this almost all the time. Like every day I used to do this. That is why I'm telling you, don't let anyone discourage you. Who knows? Wherever you go, you have to be very open, very clean-hearted, then things will be just fine. So this was my beginning. This, this place was my beginning. And this was where I had my first job. It's, it's all, you know, like it's just a start. And look at me today. I'm doing just fine. Everything is going on well. And... I just say, I thank God. So I'm here just to show you guys where I started my first job and what I did over there. I was just a construction laborer. Guys, you are watching this video and you are not giving it a thumb up. You are not subscribing it. Come on. Just do it. Just do it. And I hope that restaurant that I took you guys, you guys love that restaurant. So it is something that you guys have to know. In Brazil, it's common to go to a restaurant where you pay one particular uh, 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 money amount and then you eat and eat and eat again. In my case, I don't eat so much and I was supposed to bring, I was supposed to take Marwa to that particular place. It's unfortunate that Marwa only spent some few days here in Brasilia, you know, but I hope someday Marwa comes back so that I can take him to all these places for us to explore. Even this, 
this train station is also a new train station. It is underground. Yes, it is underground. Guys, I left my car there. I'm going to pick my car. Then I'll head towards home. Yes, I'll head towards home. So how is it, how is restaurant in your country? In your country, do you have the option to weigh your food and then pay? Or do you have the option to eat as much as you can and then pay one particular amount? Let me know, let me know, okay? Just let me know. Don't forget, it's your brother Supreme Leader. Subscribe to this channel. Share the channel if you like my content. Always leave your comment at the comment section. And let me also know about your country because I always want to know about your country. I'm sharing what I have here and my experience out here with you guys. So I hope you guys also share something about your countries with me. I have always told you guys to try and then get in touch so that we can do videos together. But I'm not seeing anything. That place over there is actually, uh, what do you call it? It is a bus stop where the buses stop for people to pick cars. So guys, uh, I'm done. I'm going back home. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, share the channel, and also click the bell button after subscription. And also, uh, what do I have to say? Um, leave your comment in the comment section. You can follow me on Instagram, inside underscore Brasilia or any other thing. Yeah, guys. So, yeah.